So today we'll be starting with uh, linear equations in two variables. Chapter number three, as in the order of NCRT. Now, if you look at the first word, linear, the word linear means having degree one. We did linear polynomials, right? So the degree of that polynomial was one. Then we have an equation. An equation is something which is having a LHS and RHS separated by the equality sign. Okay. And two variables. So two variables mean it can be X, Y, A, B, C, D, whatever. Two alphabets should be there. So we are doing linear equations in two variables. The power should be 1, not 2, 3, 4. Then it becomes quadratic or cubic. So we are doing at the moment linear equation. So this is an example of a linear equation in two variables. X plus Y is 10. Now if one equation is given, we can have so many answers, right? X plus Y is 10. So what are the values of X and Y? X could be 1, Y can be 9, X can be 5, Y can also be 5, it can be 6, 4, 4, 6, 3, 7, then so many decimal answers will come, 5.5, 4.5, then fractions, so you will have infinite answers when you have only one equation. But we are doing linear equation in two variables and we will be given two equations always, okay? And the general form of this equation will be A1X plus B1Y equal to C1 and a2x plus b2y equal to c2, okay? So you will always be given two equations to, and you have to solve that simultaneously to get an answer. Now, please remember when you are trying to solve linear equation in two variables, there can be three cases. The first case is called a unique solution. A unique solution occurs when a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Now, what is the meaning of this? Let's say you are given this question, 2x plus 3y is 10 and x plus 4y is 15. And you have to solve this. Now, what do they mean by this a1 and a2? a1 and a2 are basically the coefficients of the x terms. So, what is a1 here? 2. And what is a2? 1. So, a1 by a2 is coming 2 by 1. And what is this b1 and b2 they are referring to? They are the coefficients of y. So, b1 and b2 is what? 3 by 4. Now, you will observe, are they equal? They are definitely not equal. So, I can say it is consistent. Consistent means it is having a solution. Okay. So, this Terminology is important, consistent. And what is the meaning of consistent? It is having a solution, a unique solution. And if I try to plot this on a graph, what will happen? You will get two intersecting lines. This will be two intersecting lines and the point of intersection will give us the unique solution, the answer. Now, how to solve this by graphical method? How to solve uh, this by... Uh, algebraic method, all this I will explain. So right now I am just telling you that it, the equations given could have a unique solution or it could be others. So this is how we check whether it has a unique solution. I hope it's clear. A1 by A2 should not be equal to B1 by B2. The second condition is the linear equation can have infinitely many solutions. That happens when A1 by A2 and B1 by B2 and C1 by C2 are all equal to each other, all three. Let's give an example here. See x plus 2y is 4, 2x plus 4y is 8, so a1 by a2 is 1 by 2, b1 by b2 is 2 by 4, that is also 1 by 2, and c1 by c2 is 4 by 8, that is also 1 by 2. So these type of linear equations, when we solve, will have infinitely many solutions. So this is also called consistent, but it is called dependent also, consistent and dependent. So consistent means it has a unique solution, consistent dependent means it has infinitely many solutions. So both are consistent. So in order to distinguish between both, we will write this as only consistent and this as consistent and dependent. Okay. And if you plot a graph for infinitely many solutions, you will get two lines, one on top of each other. So these are called coincident lines. Okay. So here it was intersecting lines for unique and here we have coincident lines. And the last case is when we have no solution. Okay. Note down this condition A1 by A2 equal to b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. This is no solution. Example here I have given x plus y is 10, 2x plus 2y is 15. So a1 by a2 is what? 1 by 2, b1 by b2 1 by 2, c1 by c2 is 10 by 15 that is 2 by 3. So these two are equal but not equal here. So this is called in, uh, inconsistent. Inconsistent means it has no solution. So the first was consistent, second was consistent dependent and this is inconsistent. And when we draw a graph of this, we will get parallel lines. So all these cases I have also sent you in the form of notes just now. You can go through this three conditions.